Oh. My. God. It's fucking here. It's actually right here. Right in front of me. I'm looking at fucking Monster's Den Godfall. It's unbelievable to think that I used to play this game back in high school over 10 years ago in a Flash play based game. I mean, th this game along with like a bunch of other Flash based web vert based games. I'm da bah. Uh, I signed up for computer classes just to play a class period of Monster's Den. And what I really liked about it, what really drew me into it was how easy and how easy it was, all the RPG elements of the game, the fact it was a dungeon crawl, uh, and ultimately for me, I was a huge Diablo player, and the talent tree just it spoke to me, you know? It, it, it was so good, and it really hooked me in. And uh, a couple of months ago, I was browsing Steam, and one of the... Uh, upcoming game releases was actually actually not a few months ago it was probably almost a year ago was Monsters Den Book of the Dread remastered literally lost my shit made like five videos deleted a few of them but you can check them out if you want uh, and I, I I don't even know how many hours I actually put into that game when it was on a flash base game but I put in like an additional 60 hours after I bought it on Steam great purchase um, and now here we are Monsters Den Godfall. It's unbelievable, really, that we are here. I'm, I'm just dumbfounded this game came back. Like, I, I was actually a very big fan of the game. Really glad that Monstrum uh, and Garen put in the effort to not only bring this game to life, put in the effort for a new version of the game, but also brought it onto Steam. Because you can't really find it anywhere anymore, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> so... I'm, on, I'm definitely going to make a Let's Play video on this. Definitely going to do a series. Uh, but I figured I haven't really decided how I'm going to work on this video or what I'm going to do. But I think for the time being, it's going to be rev be a review. I have put in a little bit of time. I've got a little bit of an understanding of how the game works. I'm sure whoever's watching this video is very skeptical. Uh, not very skeptical, uh, but for a better lack of words, um, abrasive if it's good or not, worth it, worth the money. Um, it, honestly, I'm going to give it a thumbs up because a couple of things. First, this game stayed true to its core. You don't see that, and after a decade of absence, it's still Monster's Den. It's nothing different. It's the same guys, the same people. It's the same at its core. Uh, it still has that classic retro feeling to it and the fact that it's kind of like a two... It's almost like... A 2D world, but a 3D environment. <clears throat> uh, it's also open world, which is crazy to think about. And it's still doing what it does best. You're crawling around rooms, looking for the unexplored, fighting s uh, up to six parties, or six people in a party at a time. A uh, lot of different, lot of different uh, combat features uh, that I really enjoy. They make, honestly, combat, the tactical side, the strategy side to combat, completely changed. I thought Monster's Den at some point had a threshold where once you breached it, the game was just pretty fucking easy. Uh, but this game, there's so many different... E each each class has um, stances, it's got different abilities that they have passively that they can pass on to other players or just buff themselves uh, with some trade-offs, of course. The talent tree, it's still fucking like Diablo. I love it. Uh, except it's a lot. It's actually a little deeper. It's a lot more integrated. There's actually two different trees, uh, kind of like in Monsters Den, uh, the Book of the Dread. You had uh, the passive skill tree, and then you had like your ability skill tree. Uh, but once you learned an ability, that was it. Uh, but here, you actually get to learn an ability, use it, improve it, find other passive abilities in that tree that it's intertwined to improve that one as well as other ones that are intertwined with it uh, and then also ultimately reach an end uh, trait or talent if you will uh, and then there's of course a completely different tree which is kind of it, to me it looks like it's buffing uh, an entirely different thing I don't know um, but enough about that uh, I think I've gotten into that enough the other really cool thing is in Monsters Den, Book of the Dread Remastered, you had one party, and if you died, you're done, right? Well, in Godfall, you can have multiple parties. There's actually a legitimate story to the game. 
there are uh, not only characters that you interact with, there's factions, there's reputation, there's quartermasters that you build reputation with to get armor, to get gear. And not only that, but there's also what I fucking loved about Diablo 2 again is sets or set uh, item pieces, set armor pieces. There's actually a ton of that in this game. There's so many different pieces of armor and gear to collect. So with that, we have factions, we've got reputation, we have an open world. Monsters Den does a great job at keeping the game simple at its core, having a massive world to explore, and gives and provides plenty of quests for you to do, both a main quest storyline uh, as well as side quests that will help you improve your relations with different factions. You get to pick and choose which factions you want to work with. Um, kind of like if anyone has ever played World of Warcraft and remembers, uh, I think it was, for some reason it's popping in my head, is Burning Crusade that had, uh, which is basically after vanilla, that had pieces that dropped. You take them into vendors. There are certain items that you could just turn in for reputation bonus points. That's basically what it's, what's in this game. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, this game is like vanilla in that way. And gamers, the last thing I wanted to mention about this uh, game before I uh, kind of take off and start going into it uh, and start in the Let's Play series is the game stayed true to its core in terms of how your inventory looks, how things work, how things tick, but it's also dramatically uh, improved its looting system. There's a lot more like gray loot drops that you just get just for gold, which is great for the party. Uh, they've made, uh, after every battle, and you know, if you look back at Monsters Den Remastered. Once you got loot, you kind of just had to loot it and go, I don't fucking know if anyone needs it or not, uh, and I'll just check it out in my inventory. Well, you can actually do it after each battle, uh, and, you know, it's a very chic look through everything, but every item in your inventory looks almost like it used to in Monsters Den uh, The Book of the Dread, which I personally like. You know, it's it's for me, it's nostalgia, and this game's got a very awesome blend for any Monsters Den or Monsters Den, the Book of the Dread fans, this game is going to speak to you on your nostalgia level, but offer enough to keep you hooked for a long time. I definitely think it's worth the money. Uh, if you want to take a look, I'm going to start up a Let's Play series and probably in the next video. If you're new to the channel, um, I don't just do this for Monsters Den. I do this for a lot of other things, me and my partner, uh, Last Brahekin. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, like, you know, got to do that, of course. Uh, happy to hear your thoughts on the game. Definitely here to here to have an open discussion. Let me know what you think. Uh, if there's anything maybe I missed, feel free to point it out. Uh, but until then, happy gaming, gamers.